Hello everyone, this is Leonardo and in this video I'm going to show you one of the modules that I haven't explored before which is uh, the RESCOM, the Resonant COM filter. If you're not familiar with COM filters, I will, I will give you a quick explanation. So a COM filter is a special kind of filter that has, uh, compared to, to the low pass and band pass, uh, a COM filter has a very special way of, of changing the frequency content of, of the input signal. So it comes in, in, two, in two versions. This is one of the versions uh, in which we can see that the input is, uh, depending on how, on how strong the, the, the effect it is, is going to create like these kind of notches. It's like a group of notch filters. And when we change the, the frequency or the tuning of the, of the filter, these are going to move to the sides. The other version is exactly the opposite. So instead of creating uh, notches, it creates these valleys. And the same, when we move, move the frequency, it's going to move sideways. Let me show you that in VCV. So I have a, a RESCOM connected, and I also added the spectrum analyzer so you can see uh, the effect of it. Let's insert some noise. Okay, so right now everything is the default. And these two types of filter that I was talking about, uh, we get it, we get it with the comp knob. Let's, let's listen to the to the positive version. So right now is is not easy to see the difference, but we can hear it already. I'm gonna change the tuning. And we can hear, uh, clearly see and listen to the, to the effect here. So if I change to the negative, we have the other version and, and you can hear the, the difference. But Rescom has uh, a feedback mode in which it's possible to to insert the output of the filter back into the filter, and and that will produce that will uh, make stronger the, the effect, but it will also take it to, to a mode in which uh, it starts resonating. So practically, it doesn't need any input; it will uh, drive itself. That's basically the the comb filter, but uh, when I designed this, I, I, I had a different idea in mind. One of the things that, that you that you may see here. Let me put back the noise. What is the noise? Uh, audible instruments, utilities. So that's the noise. Uh, one of the of the things that you that you may have noticed is that this this uh, input has the bills, bolts per octave uh, label. So I intentionally didn't put uh, an attenuator and a, and a modulation input like in these two, because uh, I wanted to make explicit that this thing is tuned. So we can use, for example, CV from a, from a keyboard to control it. Uh, but if we want to modulate it, we need to use a, an external Attenuverter, like in this case. So I'm going to connect the output of this one and the input of the noise.
that's that's the effect that we get when we modulate this this input. Delete this. I'm gonna keep this one here. I'm gonna connect it somewhere else. So what I have here is uh, I have just a very simple sound that is being uh, that is gonna be played by by my external hardware here. I'm gonna connect the input. It's a it's a very simple melody. So that's that's the the input melody. We can just uh, change. harmonic content of it but, but one trick that I like to do a lot is is uh, taking a, a second melody which is played in, in a different channel and take this ball per octave I'm gonna put it there so the the second melody that I'm playing is it's just a uh, listen to it So what I'm gonna do is like select one of the comp and start increasing the feedback. So now because of the of, of the of the modulation, uh, you can hear that the two that the two melodies start to combine. They create like really nice resonances there. Rescom can be used as a as as a, to produce car plus strong light sounds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna release, I'm gonna change the release here, and I'm gonna try just to insert a pulse. So now it's just inserting a that pulse into the resonator and we can change the how how the the, the string light sound sounds uh, by changing the the characteristics of the input
So that's rescom. And if you want to receive more updates about the boot modules, subscribe to this channel. And also remember that all these all these modules that I'm doing are for free. Uh, but if you want to support uh, the development of these modules, you can always uh, place a donation, and you will find a link in the in the boot modules page. So thank you everyone, and bye.